this is step eight of the beginner Arnold rendering guide and at this point you have actually rendered out your um, frames and you have your EXR files here and the next step is going to be running these through the Arnold denoiser now you might not need to do this but um, chances are that even if you don't feel like you need to it will benefit you to do this step it doesn't take very long so just quickly I want to show you how to import into After Effects so that you can check your render because looking at single frames might not actually show up how much noise you have so I've got After Effects here and I'm just going to right click in the project area and go to import file and then I'm going to choose the first frame and make sure that EXR sequence is checked and import that in and then I'm just going to right click interpret footage main and make sure that this is set to 25 frames per second because that's what my um, animation is at and then I can grab this drag it down to the new composition button and Mai's made me a new composition and then because it's rendered with an alpha I'm just going to add layer, new solid and add a black solid underneath and then if I hit this play button here in the preview window it's going to play and as it plays it's going to load in the frames so we're going to get um, quicker playback once it's played through the first time. Now I'm talking as if you've never used After Effects before so if you have I apologise. Okay and then now it's playing back um, as I would expect it to. I'm at 50% at the minute so if I just zoom in to 100 um, and we watch we can see that on a steel frame my render looks pretty clean um, but when we start to play it I don't know if the, this is picking it up but you can see the noise especially in this kind of area here where the light is and on the actual lampshade itself so although when we did the previous steps we got rid of a lot of the noise that we had we're still left with some noise so I am going to run this through the denoiser now obviously I wanted to check it first before I did it see if I had to but if you don't want to do this step where we've loaded it into After Effects, then you can obviously just run it through the denoiser um, anyway. So let's just minimize After Effects and go back to uh, Maya. So the Arnold denoiser is, um, well you can access it from any of the tabs, but it's just in the Arnold here. And then you go to Utilities and Arnold denoiser. It's a standalone. Uh, piece of software but it's just built into Maya now okay and first thing you're going to do is in the input is going to go and locate the image sequence that you want to denoise so this is mine here and then by default what Maya is going to do is it's going to output that into the same folder the same file name it's just going to add underscore denoise to it so for every frame that you have you're going to end up with a second version that's underscore denoised um, and I'm just going to leave it like that I'm just for this example just going to show you 25 frames now the default settings are usually pretty good um, so I'm going to leave them at the default settings and I'll show you what we get and then so you can do a test you know of a few frames and check whether the default settings work for you if they're not working then the variance is essentially the strength of the denoiser so 0 0.25 is kind of a low setting 0 0.5 is mid and 0 0.75 is high you don't want to be putting crazy numbers into this so I typically recommend just leave it at 0 0.5 if you check it and that's not enough, you know, you've still got a lot of noise, then you can up this to 0 0.75 and do it another test and that should have improved it. Okay. Um, and then pixel search radius. Um, 
is kind of the search area that Maya uses um, to then blend across. So the larger this is, the kind of more smooth an image you will get. But again, default settings generally tend to work. So I would do a test at the default settings. So I'm just gonna hit denoise and then you can check it. And if it doesn't, if it needs more work, then obviously you can come back and, and I'd play around with these values. So when you hit denoise, you'll get a preview here of what my is doing. It's doing frame one of 26. Um, and it's at 3%. Now it'll take a little while to do this, but it won't take that long. So I'm gonna pause the video and let Maya run through uh, these. So it's all ready now, before I've even paused it, on um, you know, the second frame. This is an overall percentage, I think, not a percentage of each frame. So I'm just gonna pause and let Maya finish. Okay, so to do those frames, it took about five minutes. So I'm just going to go and import from the same folder and um, I did frames 25, just something in the middle. So I'm just going to grab the one that says underscore denoise, make sure the XR sequence is checked again and hit import. I'm going to right click, interpret footage and change that to 25. And then I can drag this just over the top and just line it up from 25 I think that's the right frame and I'll just hit play and let um, that load in and so we can see now that the noise has changed so you can see noise what we had previously and the denoiser has removed um, it pretty successfully so if you find that you've still got noise in, you can go and um, run it again uh, through the denoiser and you can try um, increasing the variance first of all and then you can also try increasing the pixel search radius. You don't want to try and increase these by too much so variance I'd go to 0.75 and pixel search radius you could try something like 12, 15, 18, those kind of values. Um, and yeah, it's as simple as that. So I'm gonna run through the complete sequence now. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how we composite everything into After Effects, including our ambient occlusion and doing a bit of color correction, and then how we render that out into our final video file.